There are three types of instruments in Sample Tank 3. Let's look at building up a little multi of our own using them. Now, first we have regular multi sample instruments. And I'm going to load in, let's say, a bass on one of these. I'll take this one and I'm going to double click and load it into the first slot. And that works fine. Now, let's select the second slot. And the second type of instruments that we have are multi-articulation instruments, things like strings and brass and woodwinds, where there are different articulations, things like staccato notes or swells or standard notes or fall-offs in the case of brass. And they're triggered different ways. We can trigger by key switching, meaning hitting different trigger notes in the lower range of the keyboard to switch the articulations. Some have velocity switching, meaning the harder you play, the different samples will be triggered or the different articulations. And the third kind are mod wheel switching, where you move the mod wheel to switch between the articulations. And these are all indicated in the names with KS, VS, or MW. And for example, I'm going to go to one of the brass sounds. Let's load that in the second part. Here is a key switch version, KS, pop brass. Let's load that in. And you can see, once it's loaded in, that the notes will be shaded in red at the bottom that allow you to switch articulations. Now, this is on MIDI channel two. When we're creating these multis, we have the 16 parts here and we can set the MIDI channel for each of the parts by just mouse sliding in this field. So they don't all have to be consecutively numbered from one through 16. You can set some to the same MIDI channel and you can then layer sounds if you wanted. Like for example, here, I'll get the brass and the bass together, which you may or may not want. But in this case, I'm going to put it back to two. There we go. And in the third slot, I'm going to load up the third type of instrument. And those are the loop instruments. We looked at those briefly a while ago. So let's say I go to one of these drum kits and I'll load in, let's say, this one over here, Funk Rock 10. And we can tell our loop instruments because they're in the loop category and they have a BPM next to it. And of course, with sync mode on, it'll play back at the tempo in my DAW, which is 120. Now, the thing is, how do we trigger all of these individually? They're all responding to different MIDI channels, one, two, and three. Now the setup in the DAW will vary from DAW to DAW, but basically the same idea. I have this multi-timbral instrument and I wanna have different MIDI channels to trigger the same instrument. So I'm gonna set this to channel one, and then I can use track other, and I can go new track with next MIDI channel. And there I have channel two, and I'll use the shortcut, which is control return. And there's MIDI channel three. So now by selecting those, I can trigger the individual sounds. The bass, the brass, and the drums. And because I have the latch play enabled, I just held the note once and it continued playing until I triggered it again. So let's look at these a little more closely. On the loop instrument, we have these shaded notes that indicate which notes are gonna trigger the loops. On the regular multi-sample instrument, we have just all the same color notes. And on this key switch instrument, we have these shaded notes here. When we click these, we can switch the articulations and it'll bring up a little key switch window and I can click here or I can click here. So there or there will change them. For example, here's staccato. Let's select second part. Regular standard sustain sound. We have falls or sforzando, which is kind of a swell. So we can trigger these by clicking with the mouse here or here. And we can also program up these key switch notes within the sequencer in order to switch articulations. So let me try and put together a little demo showing you these different features. And I'll be back in a moment. I've put together a little sequence and let's take a look and listen. And as I play it, I have the brass part selected here. These are all the notes that are happening, but at the bottom I have these key switch notes programmed up to correspond to these notes between C and D sharp. And as these key switch notes occur, you can see and hear the articulations switch. So the brass part 
has a busy part up high and these key switch notes are happening. And it's important they happen slightly before the note on of the notes, just so that the articulation is switched in time. The velocity and the length doesn't matter. I have these at a low velocity so that they're colored blue and you can identify them easily. But key switch notes to switch articulations. Now in the bass part, I have a simple part just programmed up with regular notes. And in the drum part, what I've done is I've went into the settings and I turned off the latch audio loops because I didn't want it for this particular workflow that I'm putting together right now for this little sequence. And what I did here on the drums is I just programmed up the notes and held them until I wanted the different loops triggered. So each of these notes are triggering different variations at a loop. So that's a little idea of Sample Tank in action with a few instruments loaded into a multi. And of course, now I can save this for future recall if I want. Maybe I want this set up in another project. So let's switch to the multi tab over here. And I'm going to go save as. And I'm going to make sure I'm in my multis folder here. And I'm going to call it EK multi like that. And there's the new multi. I can quickly recall it. I'll just demonstrate by going into blank multi and now back to this one. And it'll load in those sounds again. It'll take a moment. And if we look in the finder and on Windows Explorer, there are the sounds. We'll see that it's now stored in the multis folder within Sample Tank 3. And the extension is Sample Tank 3M for multi ST3M. So those are some of the sample tank features in action using the different types of instruments, creating a multi, setting the different MIDI channels here and the corresponding tracks in the DAW to correspond to those MIDI channels, programming up some key switch notes for the multi-articulation instruments and saving it all as a multi. See you for more in the next video.